looks like things are working here. Well, welcome. This is our week one of the six-month Bible study. Um, just a little primer for you here on, um, on the Bible. The Bible is a collection. It's a library of different books. Everything from biographies to mysteries, poetry, uh, history, political intrigue, all of these stories are in there, and they are our stories, and they are told through relationships. And the primary relationship is our relationship with God, but then God's relationship with people. So keeping that in mind is the common thread. Um, there's two testaments, two witnesses in the Bible. The Old Testament, the story of the origins and God's relationship with the Hebrews, and then the New Testament, the story of Jesus, who is God's fulfillment of the promises he makes in the Old Testament, which is why we are doing the Old and New Testament together, because as you read the Old Testament, you find fulfillment in the New Testament. Um, a couple things to keep in mind as you begin and read from Genesis 1 through 40 and Matthew 1 to Matthew 11 is, again, relationships. And who are the people that are being lifted up? What are people's names? When names change, something's happening. The Bible is a living word, and it changes as we change. Different translations are available because people read the Bible through different lenses. It's like reading using glasses. They help you to see God's plan. So depending on your translation might depend on how you see God presented. Uh, especially in Matthew's Gospel, look for the image of Jesus as the new Adam where you saw in the Old Testament in Genesis as Adam as the broken man, Jesus is the full man. Uh, there's a lot of genealogies that might have bogged you down before. Think of the genealogies as the bridges between the generations. You don't have to focus on them, but you have to go over them. So scan them. Uh, a point with the, ge the genealogies is note who the first two or three people are and who the last two or three people are that lead you into the new story. Read this not for in-depth. Read the Bible not for an in-depth reading. But if you run across something that's very interesting, that's fine. Folk, you know, really get into it. But for the most part, I would encourage you to read just for the pure, pure fun and enjoyment and seeing what what's out there. And later on, we'll get into more of the details. Um, so looking forward to checking in with you next week. And hopefully I'll be better at doing the video stuff. But uh, week one, let's get started and let's see what God has to say for us, say to us. Amen.